the fast, cheap, reliable mud coins, go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing at the Madden cheese as always. Got a defensive play video for you guys today. Something I haven't really put out a lot of lately, and that's blitz videos. I'm going to put out a defensive blitz video today uh, that, in my opinion, is one of the faster ways to get heat uh, in this game. I'm in the Kansas City Chiefs defensive book again, which is the only playbook I've used all year. Uh, if you guys want to see more blitzes and more plays out of this book, uh, there's two ways to do that. You can check the Chiefs uh, def or you can check the Chiefs playlist, or you can check the ebook link in the description below uh, but I've been using this playbook all year pretty much every video that I put out from defense has been from uh, this particular playbook uh, I put out from the dollar I put out stuff from uh, several nickel formations the big nickel over G um, I put out stuff from the nickel normal and now I'm going to continue with the the even six one so like I said this is this is in my opinion one of the best blitzes to run out of this particular book it's it's somewhat of an all-out blitz there's a couple different ways to run it you can run this exact same blitz out of the same will blitz which i'll show and the cover four quarters now the cover four quarters I already put out uh, as a run defense uh, i still feel it's also a really good run defense it's really good base defense as a whole um, so i'll show you guys all that in today's video and uh you know as always if you guys want to see more videos like this more defensive videos more blitzes do me a favor hit the like button and let me know in the comment section i'll be sure to do that so let's go ahead and let's look we have both of these plays in our audibles already so we'll just we won't have to come back to this screen so let's go ahead and let's pick the cover four quarters because in my opinion it's the better are the two and then on the other side uh, we're just going to pick we'll pick random single back and then we'll also switch it up and pick random gun i guess before i get into this video as always this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at mmoxp.com if you guys are trying to get your mutt team up like mine do me a favor check them out link in the description below and use discount code money shot to get five percent off it's already the cheapest coins of the market now as far as the defensive side goes um i did start off with a uh, random single back because i do think that um you know when i first came out it was an empty back five wide set i'm going to give myself a challenge i'm going to i'm going to pick plays from both formations as this video goes forward to show you that it works against just about anything uh but ultimately this setup it could be simpler uh it's very similar to a setup that i just put out from a different cover four defense a different formation entirely all i'm really going to do is i'm going to hit y triangle then i'm going to base the line hit y triangle again then i'm going to show blitz then i'm going to hit y triangle again and base the line one more time uh basically all of that is really just to get my cornerbacks and safeties where i want them then i'm going to pinch my defensive line which is db to the or um, d-pad to the left and then down to pinch uh, and that's pretty much it this is pretty much how i could set up this defense if i wanted to run this like a base defense a lot of times i would you know hard flat and stuff like that but if i want to make a blitz uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically send them all, which is deep ahead to the right and then down on the uh, on the right stick to blitz all. This is how I make it a, a really fast blitz. This is going to be to the point where I have two different ways to run this. I can if if they don't don't have a lot of receivers, I can use her one of these DBs. Like sometimes I'll use her the safety on this side because there's only uh, one receiver over there. There's three receivers on the other side, so I can basically just borrow this guy and kind of play more middle linebacker. Or if there's a lot of receivers i can just use or this guy come down to the gap and then back away and get into coverage so essentially I have five guys six guys coming in um, i'll go ahead and I'll let the play run just to show you guys how quickly this can get through uh, because tom brady's just going to get sacked instantly now that was a play action like i said i picked random so we're going to do that again. Like I said, I picked random single back. We'll pick random shotgun here in a minute uh, to show you that it really doesn't matter. But this is pretty much a setup. To me, it's pretty quick. To me, I mean, I did it there within a, a second or two of talking. Um, I don't think it's best to run this, even though I'm running against single back. I don't think it's best to run against single back because it's not the best run defense. It's a good run defense, but it's too blitz heavy to be a, a good run defense. The last part that I really didn't mention as well uh, would be to guess pass. If you guess pass... Um, these DB or these cornerbacks. Number one, the DBs will react faster. But number two, the the, uh, the edge rushers uh, will ignore any play action and they'll go right for the quarterback. So that will make the blitz. That will turn the blitz up a notch. Um, but like I said, that that's also what makes this kind of a risky run defense. Now these safeties uh, will do a pretty good job if you don't guess pass at helping with the run. Uh, but ultimately, like I said, I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to send some heat here. So in this scenario. 
Once again, I could use one of these safeties because there's three tight ends, so I'm not really too concerned about getting burned on the backside. The only real receiver on the field that can do that um, is going to be pretty much manned up. So, like I said, there are times where I'll just let this middle linebacker go in, and now you can see, like I said, it's not necessarily the best run defense if I didn't take care of that. It's a good run defense if you were to set it up like a normal defense. Like, this is a good run defense just like this, but, you know, I'm, I'm not necessarily... Um, that's not necessarily the goal. You can see the safety should go flying in. That's why I was saying earlier um, that this, when I originally made this video, uh, was about the run defense. If I don't guess pass, if I do this setup, you can see once again, we got one wide receiver, we, so we have one cornerback playing back. That's because I base aligned twice. That's why the cornerbacks play back. But ultimately, if I don't guess pass, if I just set this up like a, like a run defense with the hard flats, you're going to see how these safeties come flying forward. And that's because they're playing in the box. You can see both of them essentially look like they're on a blitz they both look like they're kind of they both the, the entire defense for the most part looks like a run commit except for these cornerbacks that's one of the reasons this is also a very good base defense a very good run defense the cornerbacks drop back this guy drops back into nowhere by the way which is kind of weird uh, there's nobody nobody there at all while this receiver pulls this cornerback back but you can see he immediately goes into like a man coverage um, but like I said, that's that's why you can run this as a base defense. You can run this as a, um, you know, if you come out and you're not liking the look, you don't have to go with the blitz. You can set this up to be a very successful base defense. So we'll go and we'll do that one more time. Like I said, this is the regular, this is the base defense setup. If you want to play it this way, if you suspect a pass, you can always do the full setup too, which is putting um, a defensive end on a three wreck. Now I'm not really trying to do that. Like I said, I'm trying to I'm trying to make this a uh, an all out blitz. So this is what we're going to do. And then we have two receivers on the field. So I'm going to use this middle linebacker and drop back. So we'll just go. We'll cover this gap like this. And then you can see this guy just comes right off the edge. And I tried to sack him, but I accidentally whiffed. Um, but you can see, I mean, that's because a lot of that's because of play action. So let's go ahead and let's back out. Let's give ourselves some shotgun looks. So we went ahead and we went random gun. A lot of times you'll have to reset this uh, these guys entirely. Like on a play like this. I might not want to go to the full setup. I might want to go with the um, with the hard flats. But like I said, we're trying to make a video about something specific here. So like I said, I'm going to a lot of times I'll do this where I'll use this safety uh, because obviously these guys here, if they run like this setup, could easily be um, like something like a, a short pass here. So you can see. I mean, I, I really I, I think the running back is blocking there, but you can see that he got through. I was a little bit busy in coverage, so let's go ahead and let's take a look at the replay because I really wasn't watching. So, like I said, a lot of times, I mean, I'm sending like seven guys here, but it's really not about how many guys you send as much as it's just the fact that you're getting a free guy off the edge. And that's typically what's going to happen. You can see the running back was back to block. Both edge guys still came off, um, even though, it's, I mean, it's a seven on six, so at least one should come in free. Uh, but you can see here, I mean, a lot of times, like I said, I drop back with the, with the middle linebacker and you still get a free rusher. So we're going to do that one more time. Like I said, this here, you can see when I base in line the second time, it makes this guy come out. So I got a user bring him in. Uh, but to me, it doesn't, you know, this is a really quick, a really quick blitz setup. So I'm definitely going to probably back away. Like I said, I just try to press on the lineman there, and then you can see we just get instant heat. This time off the other side. Now you could also run the man blitz version, which I mentioned earlier. Uh, it's probably an even simpler setup, to be honest with you. I mean, all you really do is pinch the defensive line. You don't have to do the base and line, the showing blitz and pressing and all that stuff. Although you probably want to bring your safety across. Um, to be a little bit more in line with his assignment. Uh, but like I said, I don't really run a ton of man blitz online. I might throw this at my opponent every once in a while, but I like the cover four version a lot better. I know there's a lot of people online that run man blitz and are very comfortable running it all game. Believe me, I run into these guys. So if you're one of those guys and you want to try with this play, definitely I, I definitely throw it into my arsenal from time to time. But I ultimately feel like uh, the cover four quarters is a little bit safer. And then you can see, I mean, you can get some, you know, they're definitely going to force quick passes. Like I said, to me, this is more of, a, you know, something that I would run against um, against the computer in a solo battle. Um, but it's definitely effective against the computer. So if you're using it for that purpose, you're, you're all good. As you can see right there, we actually, I think both guys came off the edge on that play. And you'll get this sometimes. That's part of the reason that I stay home here at the middle linebacker spot. You can see because I basically press the center and then walk away, 
that both of these outside linebackers come in free, which is essentially the idea. That's why I'm in the box uh, with the blitzed uh, middle linebacker because I'm trying to bring all these defense, all these outside, um, you know, the left tackle, the right tackle. I want to, I want to really compress the offensive line towards the five guys in the middle and have hopefully they all engage and let these outside guys free. That's kind of the idea. And then you can see if he threw a better pass, I mean, the guy was definitely open in the flat. So there's definitely some risk involved. Uh, and I have to follow my assignment. That's why you can see ultimately I'm going out in the flat immediately to try to basically uh, do damage control if he did complete that. You can run this setup probably out of just about any zone uh, coverage in this formation. I just find that the uh, the cover four quarters gives you the best coverage on the back side because you have four safeties and they all essentially play man looks. So they they do a pretty good job of uh, you know immediately uh, trying to take away those routes. So to me, that's one of the better ways to go. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more defensive videos like this, more blitz videos like this, do me a favor, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.